Okay, um, so I can start now. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is uh, give a quick uh, introduction to uh, the modeling we're doing in OpenWorm, uh, modeling of the nervous system using a platform called C302. Okay, and uh, what we're trying to do is uh, simulate the um, uh, nervous system of C. elegans, uh, which consists of 302 neurons, and you can see these here. Uh, mainly concentrated uh, the cell bodies in the head, but there's a lot of uh, dendrites and axons which go along the uh, body of the worm. And the nervous system is uh, responsible for integrating the sensory information coming into the worm and uh, causing various actions in the worm, most notably uh, locomotion for moving the body of the worm uh, and swimming. So um, if we want to model ner the nervous system, um, there's various different approaches we can take, including um, fairly simple integrate and fire neurons, which are quite popular, which just sum up the uh, input currents and spike and reset. Uh, more detailed, uh, biologically realistic uh, approach would be to model the ion channels present on each of the um, cells, with a, maybe using a simple sphere and just integrating the um, currents coming in through sodium channels, uh, potassium channels, along the lines of what uh, Hodgkin Huxley uh, have done for the squid, uh, but even more detail would be incorporating uh, the full morphology of um, the neurons, uh, the dendrites and axons, um, and this would be important if you want to see how the different inputs and the different parts of the neurons get summed up. Okay, so uh, there's different approaches can be taken with modeling neurons, but also uh, different researchers, um, different people studying uh, C. elegans, will be interested in different subsystems of the uh, nervous system. So somebody might want to, instead of looking at the entire worm, just look at the uh, set of neurons which integrate um, uh, the sensory information when the head of the uh, worm is touched here. So there's a, a known set of um, neurons which get activated then. Um, somebody might want to look at how uh, the locomotion, how the uh, neural network drives the muscles of the worm along its body. Somebody might want to look at individual neurons like ADAL, um, and somebody might want to look at the whole worm. So what we've tried to do is come up with a system whereby you can generate different versions of the worm using different modeling approaches, and that's what we've done with C302. Uh, so this is a framework um, that's available from the OpenWorm GitHub repository. It's developed in Python, and the idea is you write a few uh, scripts in Python, and then you can generate code uh, in this NeuroML format, which is a standard for uh, expressing models in computational neuroscience and from there uh, you can do things like visualize the activity uh, run simulations with the worm um, and analyze the connectivity so basically uh, what it does is as i say it allows you to choose the level of biophysical detail so going from simple integrate and fire neurons up to these um, uh, conductance based uh, uh, cell models with ion channels up to multi-compartmental uh, cells and once you've chosen your level of biophysical detail, you can choose the size of the subnetwork you want. Maybe you just want to look at the neurons in the head of the worm. Maybe you want to look at the uh, neurons in the muscles, or maybe you want a full-scale model incorporating all of the neurons, all of the muscles, and all of the dendrites. So in this way, it gives you lots of different options for looking at um, different parts of the, the worm behavior. And once you have uh, it uh, generated in uh, Python, it also makes it much easier to generate the uh, NeuroML files and also generate code for these simulators. So for example, Neuron uh, is one of the commonly used ones in computational neuroscience. Okay, so one of the big advantages we have in uh, OpenWorm is that all of the code is open source and freely available. And because we're using standards, then it makes it much easier to interact with other uh, tools, other technologies, other systems out there. And one of them that we're interacting quite closely with is the Open Source Brain Initiative, which is a, a platform that's um, developed, uh, supported by the Wellcome Trust, but it um, is used for lots of different types of neuronal modeling um, and sharing models in computational neuroscience. And both OpenWorm and uh, Open Source Brain are using this platform called Geppetto, which is uh, came out of uh, OpenWorm originally. Um, and both of them support NeuroML, which means that um, if you go to the Open Source Brain website, the project for um, this project here, uh, OpenWorm C. Elgin's network model, you can actually visualize networks which have been generated by C302. So this is um, visualized in your browser, a 3D model of 20 cells from the head of the worm 
and you can use open source brain for visualizing connectivity. You can click on the different cells and get information about the cell types and also which types of uh, connections are present in the network. And this one here is a more detailed model with all of the um, cells in the, along the worm's body. And all of these lines here represent the um, rows of muscles along the body. And you can click on each of these, show the connectivity between them, and you can also run simulations. Uh, and this is enabled because Open Source Brain allows you to run simulations like this and anything developed in this uh, NeuroML format. So that makes it much easier to um, integrate with these tools and um, makes the models generated by C302 uh, readily usable in other uh, tools. So finally, um, the plans for extending this, um, we have already developed in um, OpenWorm a platform called WormSim, which actually also uses uh, the Geppetto platform which was used for visualizing the body of the worm, uh, the activity of the muscles. And we also are developing uh, the platform called Cybernetic, which is the fluid mechanics simulator, which um, actually does the simulation of the interaction of the worm's body with the um, fluid environment around it. And what we really want to do is link all of these tools together so that neural networks from C302 can be linked to Cybernetic. And all the activity of this can be visualized in your browser through WormSim uh, enabled by the Geppetto platform. So that's what we're going to be quite busy with over the next uh, couple of months. Thanks very much.